Good morning. <laughs> well, it would have been an earlier start to the morning, but I just cannot sleep today. So this is the start of the Ophir Creek Trail, or at least pretty close to it. This seems to be the only one I could find up at the Davis Creek Trailhead. And I would have had an earlier start in the morning, but I just cannot get a whole lot of sleep. Here is the trail. This is going to be the one that I'm going to be following today. It's a 7.2 mile hike, I believe, or 7.6, something like that. And that's for the round trip. You go about 3.6, 7.2, 3 3.6 miles in, and then another 3 point, oh, 3.6 on the way out. And it does end up crossing other trails too like the nature and the discovery. Yep, here's one trail right here, and so that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. This is one of the most gorgeous hikes. I haven't been on a hike in quite some time. I am finally vlogging on a new camera. Well, newer camera. <laughs> the Sony A7S III or Alpha S3, I should say. And it's definitely a good, sorry, I gotta cross the road here. It's definitely a good camera to be doing anything video related on. I do have the Alpha 7.3 still, but that's gonna be more like my B camera now, since I have this one. Now it's been a hot minute since I've done these types of vlogs. Been going through a lot of my personal life from move, getting ready to move from one house to another to not having the energy working too much working on the movie <laughs> which is really good you know a whole lot of progress done with it and I'm very much excited over how the progress is coming along oh, get a little of this now that that is gorgeous. I'm already a little out of breath. I just started. It's gonna be a long way to go, but I want to come up here weeks ago. I just didn't have the energy to do it. And I'm really glad I did. Check that out. Wow. I love fall foliage. Uh, I can never get enough of how these trails look when you're hiking. I definitely need to go hiking more, even if I am doing a lot of video photography along the way. I'm also stoked with the quality of this new camera. Like, I was blown away by the Alpha 7.3 when I was using it. That was going to be my camera A. I was actually going to be using two of those cameras. But I decided it would be better to invest into more of a video lineup camera instead of one that was more like a hybrid. And I know they recently released the Alpha 4, um, the A7 IV basically. And I know it rivals a lot of the stuff with this camera, but it doesn't do the same thing that this camera does. Not exactly. You also get a lot of those people that will complain about it not having more specs and more things. So long story short, it's been long overdue since I've gone hiking and doing any of that kind of stuff. And this trail is beautiful. I wish I can take the smell of the pine trees and put it in your room right now so you can smell and experience the journey with me. Because this is definitely one I'd recommend going on. Now it looks like there was a lot of snow up here at one point, unless I'm on the wrong trail. But there's not really a whole lot of snow to be had right now, as far as I can tell. Ah, uh, it's so peaceful. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of people tend to have other ways to wind down and work on themselves 
mentally or physically. For me, hiking is more of a mental thing for me to do. Like I really enjoy walking around, experiencing the forest. Even if I'm the only one uh, to do it, so my friends are usually working or they're too busy at times, or maybe I just wanna go by myself. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with doing that. I wish I had more information about this trail, but this is my first time on it. Here's a few paths. So we have Discovery and Ofer. We are obviously following the Ofer Creek, which will continue us on this direction, that looks like. And there's all this information too that I'm about to pass on by. So here's all the information for Discovery. Which I like these little things. I didn't see a post like this when it came to the Hunter Creek Trail at all. Unless I missed it. Okay, so this is 7.5 miles. Basically, you could do just about anything. Don't have the best hands today, so excuse the shakiness. And of course, oh, is that the only two for right here? All right, looks like it. So as you guys can see, uh, there's a couple trails going on here. Now, one thing I do I like about the trails, all the information that's kind of posted up everywhere, because I got lost. Uh, I got lost trying to find it driving up here. Google Maps just, <laughs> it did not succeed today. And I also, had a hard time finding the trail when I did get here. I walked around and realized I missed half of it by walking through the pavement and parking lot areas where the campgrounds are at. So I don't want to miss all that good stuff, which is why I decided to backtrack all the way around and get started. I wonder if all the snow melted already, because it feels like it's around 70 degrees outside at least. I brought my long sleeve, so that was going to be hotter, but it's it's not. It's actually not too bad right now. Oh, this looks great. Yeah, so if you're trying to come up here, do not, <laughs> do not follow Google Maps. They will lead you astray. Instead, the Apple Maps actually led me in the correct direction, which normally that's the other way around. I prefer Google because Google usually gets me where I need to go and Apple's the one that usually cannot find it. Now I don't have my tripod on me. I'm trying something called a GoPod. This is like one of those vlogging tripods where you can hold the camera out. So it is a little bit harder to get some of those walking shots that I want. I know a tripod would be better. The last time I carried a tripod, my shoulder was killing me. I just could not handle the amount of weight that I end up having to deal with with that tripod. Like a lot of other hikers pass me by as I'm trying to get like some different shots to show you guys around and everything. Oh yeah, check this out. Oh, this is definitely gorgeous. Obviously watch your step. A lot of different rocks and everything. If I can get like perhaps a, I don't know, a squirrel camera or something. 
all day. I mean, I guess left. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't know which way to go. I'm gonna go left. That sounds like it'd be it's cool. very nice to actually be able to do some stuff. Oh, got a couple of dogs and hikers following behind. Thankfully, I'm in shape. Rounds of shape, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm. I'm not really round. I have more of an athletic, slim build. You know, I haven't been working out as much as I used to. So, between you, me, and the fence post, I got hurt last time I was doing one of my filming sessions. I told my actor to give me a right side kick, and he did, twice for two different angles, which I'm really happy with how the shots turned out. Sadly, between that and working too much, I have not fully recovered uh, since then. So, I've cut back on working out, and even though the shot looks perfect, it was a minor injury that I've still been handling to this day. And it's been about two and a half months, let's see, no. Yeah, two months uh, to the day <laughs> that I've been handling this type of injury. And it was a side kick right here to the higher part of the chest. And it did some good damage. I have some minor cracks in with where the sternum is at. The shot was perfect, but I haven't been 100% since then. That's pretty much the end of that little story. I can at least show you guys how the shot looked on camera. And so my team and I have been very busy with filming the latest action movie we've been working on. And because of that, um, I've been a little busier, haven't been able to vlog or make as many videos or, you know, actually create more content for the channel. Then between that and moving, it's also been very difficult for me. Switch arms. Not a bad spot for a break either. Let me just look around. This, this is a hiking trail and I love every little bit of it and the breeze is nice too it's actually cooler than i thought it would be today i'm sure i'm not really talking to make a whole lot of sense lately there's a lot of stuff i wanted to talk about kind of like a little update video bit in my hike but i've just been so i guess admiring the view since this is my that's my first time hiking this trail a friend of mine tells me it's supposed to be Washoe Valley or the easier trail. So I guess is that there's maybe two Ophir Creek trails because everywhere I can find points me in this one. Unless I spelt, or maybe I just got the wrong trail. <laughs> At least I thought it was Ophir Creek. Now, before anyone asks, I did wear dark colors, red and black. So that was gonna be much colder on Halloween. So I wanted the clothes to absorb a lot of the heat for me. Take a look at that view. Wow. Now that's amazing. We just keep getting higher and higher up, which is really, really nice. Not only downsides when you adjust the ISO and everything. I try to flip it back around. It's probably gonna be a little too bright. But just like Hunter Creek, it got darker all of a sudden. Very, very quickly. Oh, man, I can't believe I'm still, still walking. It feels like it's longer than Hunter Creek. Oh, to be fair, it is. Just by a little bit. Yikes. About to, about to fall and eat it here really soon. Let's be honest, I'd probably protect the camera more than my actual body. Even though I have insurance for both. Wow. Sometimes I wish I had a drone. If I had a drone, would be a lot better to show you guys some of the surroundings.
All right, I got a pretty good break in. I ended up breaking for probably about a half hour. I was just short of breath and tired constantly. <laughs> like it's hard to gather the energy to do stuff sometimes, you know? You know how you feel like when you're really tired or you really want to do something, but you're so tired, it's really hard to do anything at all. That's kind of how I felt. So I decided to just sit on a rock, have some water and just kind of relax for a, a good half hour. And I feel a whole lot better because this incline is not getting any easier. And yeah, actually <laughs> it's not getting any easier. So maybe it's just because I am the one who's, ooh, there we go, getting more tired. It's also my second time trying to do a hiking video. One day I'll come back with either friends and drones and stuff like that and like a revisit or something. Although that's gonna be quite a ways. Right now my only goal is to make it to the end. Because if I can make it to the end, I'm not doing too bad. I wonder how far I've hiked. <laughs> like, am I close to the end? I've still got a mile or two left to go. Well, I'm just happy that I'm in the forest. I even, made a very strong effort to do a lot of filming in the forest when it came to the Fatal Encounter movie I'm working on because I really love how the forest shots look because all this just looks fantastic, doesn't it? How can you go wrong filming in a forest, especially with a camera like this and well, a good cast and crew as well. so quiet too like I can't hear anybody but myself right now and the breeze there's no snow up on the mountain right and then when you look down here in the valley not a single piece of snow down there right and then when you look across this way which is basically where I'm walking. I guess we can go into a first person view for a moment. There's also no snow, just a whole lot of rocks. Like, way more rocks than I would like. But I'll take this over the Hunter Creek Trail rocks any day. Because I can at least walk through here. This isn't too bad. Hunter Creek had a lot more unstable rocks and terrain. This, you might come across one or two, but not as much. Especially if you put your weight down on your feet. And of course, I also just like hiking without having a camera. Without taking photos, without taking video. Just enjoying the hike with just me, myself, and I. <laughs> but I want you guys to come along on the journey today. So if you're still watching this video this far in, thank you. I appreciate you guys. Sorry it's not as entertaining as my other videos. I'm sorry I don't have a whole lot to really talk about this time around. Other than like my movie stuff and recovering and Halloween in general. And all that kind of stuff. Nothing that's too super interesting or anything. Okay, so I'm not sure how much you can see, but there is a valley down here. And down here in the valley, there's like a stream that's like running all the way from there. And I wonder if I'm walking up to that stream or not. Because that would be really cool if I am. It seems like the trail is leading me down that way, but at the same time, it's really not leading me back to my car. <laughs> I'm going to be out here for a while. And I got to get back home at some point. So I'm going to try hiking over here real quick. And if I don't see anything that interesting, then I'm going to kind of take the hike over to the right side, which is where we're supposed to be going anyways. All right, so it does look like you can hike down here to where the stream is at, which is pretty cool. You can see it directly over there. Let's zoom in. So it does look very, very nice. I was not sure if I really want to hike down there. That's gonna close the shot or not. 
because I'm having a hard time seeing if there's anything around here I should really be aware about. So I'm going to skip hiking all the way down the stream just because uh, I, there were signs earlier saying this is a high bear activity area and I'm also running out of time anyways to be out and about and hiking. I got a long way to go before I'm back home. So I'm just going to start hiking back to the trail, the main trail, instead of this little heel off as you hike down here into the valley. Which don't get me wrong, it's, it's beautiful. But I don't think I want to take a chance of seeing a bear down here or something. Probably just better if I start hiking my happy butt back. Plus, I'm getting low on energy. I had a yogurt and a protein bar. And I don't feel like it's doing me a whole lot of good right about now. But we gotta keep going. I think I'm getting near the end of my endurance and hiking ability at the moment. It's been great. I've been having a lot of fun. The trail keeps going. I'm not sure how far it likes to lead into. But if you keep going down here this way, it does end up going to a stream. I'm going to try to finish this trail today. But it's starting to get pretty dang tired. Well, tiring. But I'm really happy with how all this footage looks and showing you guys around the whole area. And get a look at this. That's not something you, you see every day. The whole valley and the stream. And there was a way down there I could see earlier, but the problem is I can't tell there's going to be any bears. Kind of like along, along throughout here and whatnot. And I didn't want to chance it. Because if there's any fish going through this stream, there could be a bear alongside of it. And I'm here hiking by myself. <sighs> and I am starting... Let's see. And the hunger is really starting to settle in, too. But I'm going to have to go back and get my backpack now. Anyways, that's the end for this trail. <laughs> it's not as exciting as the last one. No waterfall. Nothing that cool or nothing. But it's the forest. It's the great outdoors. So that being said, guys, get out there and create. Thank you guys for joining me. Hope you have a wonderful Halloween and a wonderful day. And stay tuned for the next video. Take care. Before I sign off, so I started hiking around here, uh, which is about where I parked at. And the purple is where the Ophir Creek Trail is. And I followed up past the roads and I hiked all the way down the mountainside as well as up the entire mountainside and I somehow stopped either around here I like to think or more towards the end where it kind of keeps going into a whole new trail the Tahoe Rim. Mm -hmm.